and they destroyed the truck. Exit 37, Adele, Georgia. We got 18 tires on the truck and six on the equipment. This is going to wipe us out, guys. It's going to really hurt us. What's up, drivers? Came across this article courtesy of uh, CDL Life. This was uh, a couple of days ago. So a trucker took to social media to the sound of an alarm after he woke up to find his tires. All 18, including the 6 or 10 on the vehicle that he was hauling. Somebody punched and flattened every last one of them. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Off of 75, I was on the get off ramp sleeping last night. My wife was running with me this week and we's, you know, anyways, we's on the get off ramp and uh, all 18 tires have been stabbed with the, looks like, a, they calling it an ice pick. They even got the six tires on the equipment we was hauling and they stabbed all these 16 ply tires in the sidewalls. You can feel them. Let's see. See there, right here. Can't really. They're little holes. Right there. Right there. All these are stab stab places. Air just coming out of the tires. hear them they even cut the lines on the other side of both lines and they destroyed the truck Exit 37, Adele, Georgia. We got 18 tires on the truck and six on the equipment. This is gonna wipe us out, guys. It's gonna really hurt us. Shout out to Locust Dad 81 for sharing this video. He says he was pulled off on the exit ramp to sleep. Of course, this is in Vodesta, Georgia where parking is at a minimum scarce maybe maybe could have used trucker's path to find a better place but for whatever reason he chose to pull off on the exit ramp for him and his wife to get some sleep when they got up in the morning to do their pre-trip he noticed that all 18 tires has been stabbed with what looks like an ice pick he says that the six tires, what I say, 10, on the equipment that he was hauling has been punctured and his airlines has been cut. Such vandalism, man. I mean, people just don't seem to care anymore. Where is the humanity? It's crazy, man. The trucker even zooms in to show as many multiple punctures on the tires. He says that with this incident right here is pretty much going to wipe them out. This whole load, whatever it, whatever is pain, it's, it's a wash because truck tires is not cheap. And you figure you got 18, you got 18 tires to replace. Yeah, that's that's going to take a hit to the pocket as well as to his maintenance account if he has one. And if he don't have that, then that credit card is just going to be beyond crazy. He says the tires themselves is is an upwards of 9K and that's really going to hurt him. 
considering the fact that the load that he might be on maybe cost somewhere around maybe four maybe four or five thousand he's still in a hole for another four k for the tires he says it just scares me because what if they wanted to rob me or get in the truck and kill us he asked drivers man I, I need you guys to be careful out there this is a crazy story that is going on for real for real this story is going on and it happens a lot in georgia from people just being so inconsiderate of others somebody going to actually get out and disrupt this man's livelihood and i'm just glad it's probably just that because like he said somebody could have just easily came and did more damages we see a lot of drivers out here getting shot at we see drivers out here getting accosted to we see drivers out here getting in road rage with other with other civilians it is crazy and now that the silly season is upon us is it just might even get crazier depending on how people is going to react out here truck drivers face a lot of issues when we're out on these roads and trying to do the job for you guys we're the ones that sacrifice in our lives to come out here and do something that you particularly don't want to do and for the people that do get up in this industry this is this is the reality that you have to face the reality of finding a place to park the reality of not getting involved in situations with other people the reality of of traffic cutting you off this is the reality not the not the pretty people that be sitting up in their trucks trying to make trucking look pretty it's not it's gritty it's grimy it's 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 a job that only few people can handle not a lot of you pretty people can handle this y'all can't y'all get into a situation and the first thing that y'all gonna do is run over to social media and try to either a get help for tandems to be slid in the right hole or what the, why how come the blue airline don't fit in the red airline hole i see it i see it a lot i see a lot of people coming in this industry thinking that they're going to get uh tens and thousands of dollars you get i see a lot of people coming into facebook groups over here talking about well i have six months of experience i'm looking for home weekly and i'm looking at i'm looking for two thousand dollars uh take home pay that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen that's delusional that's delusional thinking from other people that's influencing you thinking that this that this is pretty trucking is a good career for some not for all and this reality right here with this truck driver has faced a owner operator now out of 9k what are you gonna do he gonna have to at least run at least a couple of loads in order to get back in the red first he gotta make up for this and then he gotta then he gotta make up for uh, he gotta he gotta make up for his losses and then after that hopefully he could see a profit later down the line now do you park on a i mean where, where do you park if there's nowhere to park if there's nowhere to get some rest we gotta face being in violation because of our hos what do we do drivers what do we do we can't turn to the old schoolers no more because they're fading they're fading they're getting out of this industry they're retiring they're going home they're chilling they're back they're not trying to they're not trying to get behind the seat of the truck and now we got a whole bunch of new jack drivers in here that's inexperienced that don't know what they're doing and over here giving misinformation about the about what goes on in trucking as far as what can be made out here stop doing that try to come out here try to get your experience try to drive safe because trying to drive safe and be safe is should be the priority of much and a lot of people out here don't seem to understand that big cheese got it locked boy want you to let me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real way yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and yeah, i make a sound and i want you to miss me when i'm not around come dive in my ocean for my boots my love
you, Mr. Cream. 